Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and we're going to do a little bit more with this little project. As you can see, I still have not constructed this one. I haven't done my stitching. Let's just go through this process here. Um, I might do that with you. I haven't stitched it, but I have um, photocopied it. Not scanned, photocopied because, for example, this is a newer sort of fabric. And so, um, and that one too, it's famous. And so um, that's a, a Yiwa in a Japanese fabric. I thought it was French, but I actually saw it on the, the seam. And that's a newer fabric. So no, I would never scan that to sell it's because those fabrics have, I'm pretty sure they have copyright on them. So what I want to do is grab Lulu's um, Ohuhu um, alcohol markers. They don't have to be the Ohuhu's, but that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to grab... I wanted to grab a white... Oh, I've moved everything around, you see. Oh, here they are. I've got some under papers that I like. Just going to put under because they do... Also, I can test the colour, but I think they do go through. And I can test the colour. Well, I can test the colours there anyway. Um, but I don't want strong colours. And I'm just going to put little marks on here um, to see... Yes, that's the right direction. So I'm just, they might not be the exact colors, but they're going to be the similar colors to the threads um, that I had before. So I'm thinking with a green, I might do some canther stitching here, do five little rows. And then I'm thinking here, I don't know which one of these will be all right all right but maybe not that strong maybe paler no nope. going darker so we need to go into these really pale ones um some little x's maybe uh here i don't really want to do anything i'm going to take a green or one of these yellows so these are just um, figuring out what kind of stitches I want to do I might just do the stitches where the fabric is um, yeah just working out where what stitches I want to do and the colors and then it makes it nice and relaxing when you sit down and stitch it because you kind of know in what direction you want to go because get some green and pink down here maybe and i might i need to get some i might do a bit of i'll go around that in a yellow in a just a running stitch and then here i might do French knots again like the other one. So you can use similar stitches to what you did before. Might even come off onto there. We'll see. And then up here, it's only a tiny bit up there. I'll just do a little bit of mark making. I'll ignore those sideways. Just do a little bit of mark making there. A little bit down here in the pink. If I, I might not be able to see that. We could do some green mark making on this one, and maybe come maybe instead of French knots, do some green mark making there and up here. And on here, I'm going to do. I might do yellow French knots. But I've got all those different yellows that I had pulled out before. I like the French knots on these bunched up bits. Because they don't squish it down too much. Okay, so that's the kind of stitching I'm going to do on that one. Um, hopefully I get it done by the next video. So that's just a take, see how it goes through a little bit. That's just to take you through the process of how, how I got together with the other one. Got it all, pulled it all together. So, um, actually, while we've got these out, I wonder, however, they do go through, don't they? 
probably won't go through that one. I'll glue that down. Oh, my glue's in the other room. Okay. Maybe we'll look at that afterwards. I don't know if I want to go into that. Right. Um, yeah, I wanted to put together some, I'm gonna grab my little ephemera box. So I'm a bit disorganized today as per usual. That's nothing new, is it? Disorganized Rachel is a normal Rachel. Okay, I wanted to just put have some fun and put together some little things. I wanted to take this was left over. I've got this folded piece of paper. Why would I throw that out? I want to make some little things just to clip. I don't know that I'm going to put too many pockets, but I'm going to clip things in because it's only small. We don't want it to, we don't want to go too crazy. Now, let me just see what's sitting on top of my thing here. There's little birds and stuff. Oh, that's all stuff. Okay, that's, oh, here's bits and pieces that we were playing with before. Let's grab, oh, I think I piled all the bits and pieces on top of each other, and I'd like to see what's there. I probably won't use any of my painterly papers today. Oh, I've got some, I should give those to Lulu, the fussy cutting bits. Um, although she didn't offer to do any fussy cutting today, so maybe that's not happening. She's, she's, she told me she's very busy got a lot to do <laughs> so I don't know and that's my ephemera pieces so let's just put those all over there these are good let's have a look what's in here I love these um, I do like to use these I do excuse me what I'm crashing into my see that could be nice writing do I, I don't think I want to cover all of that up. Hmm. I pulled out that one, but maybe I want another one. Um. I don't want to pull them all out, then I have to put them all back in. Okay, I'm too close to my drawer with my chair. That's the only thing. Like my, the arm of my thingamajiggy um, is, you know, it's attached over there on the wall uh, and it can't come beyond where it is. Like if I do, it will go, it will come down lower. And so that means um, that... I'm sort of like, I've got all, I know all of this is in the camera, but I'm sort of over here on the left because I can't bring the arm over further due to where it's attached. I'm wondering if I would like, oh, I quite like that. Might even wrap it around. Let's do that. And I'll just take that bit off. So I can see a little bit of the green peekabooing through. I'll have to grab another blue, I think. I might need to go and buy some. Oh, I don't like it when I when I only have five left. I don't like that. I only have to go down the road. But I don't really like to go out that much. I like staying here and doing my thing. I love that. Oh. That's good. Let's just put that aside and see what's going to happen. Then I had this silly piece here. So that could be for writing, but we could just make this pretty and decorative. Um, just take the glue off. I was just going, rifling there through my little <laughs> garbage bin. Oh, let's put this on there. So we are in the midst of 
preparing our Florentine papers. I only do those a couple of time of times of year of the year. Um, I do get some in Florence, and then I do have some suppliers. So um, some of the papers that I do include are not physically purchased in Florence, even though they're that type of paper. So I bought some last time I was there. Um, but yeah, like, so quite often I see a lot of the same. So I do have some that supply me as well. that on there. I thought this could be something that can hang over. So if you hear that banging, that's Steph cutting. He's cutting it for me. And we might put something little on there. I'm just going to make a whole lot of little bases and then we can decorate them up and decide what to do. Now these are a good starting point. Look at that. I like having random bits that I can just sort of like that and then you can start layering on top of it. I don't know how that one ripped. Did I rip that? Maybe. See, I'm just going to glue that down on there. See what other scrappies we have. Oh, I love that. On there. And this is a nice strong piece of paper, this one. This was a, some sort of end paper, but it's quite strong. I'm gonna um, tear the top so it's like the rest we'll put that aside you can write on the back and we'll see what to do with it afterwards these little pieces I've still got those in there to finish that's a good bit Of painted bits that I haven't done any more of that. I need to do that. I know I've got some plainer papers here. I might do something with that. Um, that could be not the not the um, copied one, but these not that one, but some. I thought I had some more like that, but that's a bit narrow. Maybe do something. Hmm. A bit of vellum there. Like tracing paper. Printed tracing paper. Tracing paper, yes. Here we go. This is what I was looking for, those. These bits. Let's use up some of these bits. Okay, I'm going to pull out some things that can be a base. attach this one. Let's hand tear it. I'm going to put some creases in it. We're sort of making some sort of ephemera bits but I'm going to gather them up once I've made them and we're going to group them together sort of thing. So 
might just go around the edge with the wet glue so then I don't have to go on the sticky glue book page. So I may not get a, a video done tomorrow because I'm taking Lulu and her friends. They wanted to go to uh, Florence. And so um, I never, I'm never opposed to going to Florence. And I had thought we were going to go on the Bayenza train. Um, but they seem to have taken that. that so it, that would be a 40 minute drive from here on the Autostrada. And then, um, and then I was, yeah. And then you get the train across to Santa Maria Novella and it's about two hours. Um, and it was a direct train and it wasn't expensive because it was like a, just a, what they call a regional train. Um, however, they appear to have, I think I might put that on there. They appear to have, um, it's still the train, but it's like, um, it's not direct anymore, number one. And number two, it was quite expensive. So um, I said to them, why don't, why don't I just drive? Because there's a car park at, at, um, in the northern part of Florence before you get down to where you would like um, Firenze Sud or whatever um, to go to the center. And I don't like driving in the center of Florence. They're a bit crazy. Um, so, and the roads have all changed and are confusing. And so I, there's a car park and they have a tram that takes you. It's an inexpensive car park. It, it has its own exit from the Autostrada. Oh, I like that. Um, and, um, and so I said, why don't we just do that? And we'll just tram it in to the center and they can go and do, they want to go and do shopping and look around the kids. And I'll go and do a little bit of shopping. I'm debating whether or not I might contact my friend and and see if we'll catch up in the morning or something. But we won't get there that early. We're leaving here at 7.30, so it'll take two and a half hours to get there. And there'll probably be traffic around Bologna. It's hideous. Um, so, um, yeah, I think I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's going to be a tiring day, but um, also the exciting thing, the cabinet maker's going to be here in the afternoon um, putting up the... Um, bookshelf and the tv cabinet and the drawers and i'll be able to put all my old books in there um and so yeah we're really excited about that he just rang and so oh i need a i need a wet one um so i'll come back and i might have that surprise done i can go down and get my books from the from the garage well not all of them but some of them we bought some cupboards for our, um, we've got like a, a kind, like a, they call it a cantina. It's like a storage room downstairs that locks. And then we've got um, a parking space that we can't fit our car in. I should have put that on the other side, doesn't matter. Um, and so um, we bought some cupboards. I told you, I think I told you, and they were a nightmare to build. Absolute nightmare. Nightmare of all nightmares. Needed a master's for those. Um, and so I've got my, you know, sort of my working books in there. I've got um, the few books that I've got left to sell upstairs here. We've got like this little corner sort of shelf that's lovely. And our friends came over and they're like, why don't you put some of your old books in there? And I'm like, that's a great idea. And we did and it looks wonderful. Um, so I put all my, my books that I have. Well, no, some of them I'm keeping, but the ones that I have left, I don't have that many left for selling. Because as you know, I haven't really been to that many markets. Um, so um, they're in that. They're going to stay in that bookshelf. And then downstairs, I've got my working books, like the ones that I pull apart and that sort of thing. So that's good. But then we're going to we'll be able to put. More, we're going to have more shelves with the ones that are going up tomorrow. That's going to be great. So the precious books will go in that. So that's the reverse side. Now this is this side. We need to put a little pop of colour on there. Now my table's wet, so I just put that up there. And I just want to see. I don't. These are all very big. I think. Do I have anything small here? These are just from books. I just thought I might like to use them. We did use them a little bit. Um, I love Modigliani. Um, you know this sort of thing. Like you could use something maybe like that or the black and whites. But I, I don't know, nothing is grabbing me right this second. I did get some art books the other day. Oh, that's lovely. See, those are lovely. I like those. I would make those into two 
into two um, long tags. Oh, I love those too. You see, I would use those. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Um, I don't scan these things because these are other people's publications. That, so you don't, I, I wouldn't do that. My mother-in-law always forgets. She's like, oh, you can scan that. I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> I'll use the original pages. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the idea because she gets all excited. Anyway, we're looking for some colour. I'm getting distracted by the pretty things. Oh, I've got things left over there too. Oh, well, these are good things. These were some of the things that we used as the pages. I want, oh, that's pretty. It's a bit big, isn't it? We want something smaller. Something smaller. Oh, that's... um. Sharon Hurts, so I've still got to do that. You'd be like, what are you waiting for? I'm going to put that on there. This is fun. I like doing this. This is like one of those random craftings. You know, when you just grab the random things. Although I usually go on my to-do basket. But these are things that need to be done. And I like all these little things. For, you know, this little book. Little things are good. That's blank on both sides. So we could have a bit of book page. Nothing like a good piece of book page to get you going. Get you on, on a roll. Oh, yeah. So the whole point of telling you what was happening tomorrow was... That I'm, um, I haven't recorded a video, so I won't do a video tomorrow, but there'll be weekend videos. So I hope that makes up for it, is weekend videos. Mm, I love that. And did I ask you all how you are today? I don't think I did. It's that time of the afternoon. It's a bit later. Let me tell you. I'll wiggle my mouse and tell you. Um, it's 3.53 in the afternoon and it's that time after lunch we didn't eat a lot of lunch we just had really we had like um, Greek yogurt with you know lots of fruit and stuff in it um, but I just get really sleepy and tired at this time of the afternoon so um, I might be a little bit dingling up Oh, I love that. I'm going to put that right there. And then we're going to get cute little embellishments, I hope, and embellish. But I did, I was doing book page packs today because, um, thank you very much for everyone, to everyone who's purchased them. I did run out and so I had to, it took me a while and I had to make hemp packs. Um, and so let's have a look at these. Now these are going to be too big, but what I could do is tear it down might even tear it down naturally. Um, so I was able to watch while I was pulling apart books. I'm going to rip her hand off, guys. Don't freak out. She's not alive. She won't feel a thing. Um, but I, um, I did able. I was did able. <laughs> I was able to watch um, some YouTube. And who did I watch today? I watched. Who, who was new? I watched Wendy's Beautiful Journals. Hi, Wendy. Um, I watched her beautiful journals that she made, the long Christmas TN ones, just gorgeous, as, as expected. And I watched, oh gosh, now I'm going to forget who I watched. I like to have that little pop of blue behind there. Who else did I watch? I watched uh, Cheryl. It's Cheryl... I don't know how to say your YouTube name, Cheryl. Just a minute. Let me go on my computer and have a look. I'll go into my... Um, I can tell you, I'll go into my watch history. Because I just like to give a shout out. Because I don't, I haven't commented. Because I watched on my TV. Oh, now it's telling me I'm not connected to the internet, which is a load of hogwash. Hogwash. Okay. Excuse me while I muck around on my computer in the middle of my video. You know, I have the luxury now because my husband put my video, my, 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 my computer there. I'm very excited. Um, uh, history. I'll tell you, it's a, 
I will, oh, it's not telling me who they are. Just a sec, I'll make it bigger. Okay, oh, no, I didn't watch that. Oh, I watched Wynette. Oh, it was Wynette. I didn't, I, you sound like Cheryl. You remind me of Cheryl Telephus. I thought it was her. Oh, no, I watched Wynette's video. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I apologize if it's not. Um, I had a jazz up antique book pages. Wynette's Crafting Corner. Um, actually, I might, if I remember, I may not. Don't scream at me. But if I remember, I'll link all the videos that I watched this morning down below. I thoroughly enjoyed all of them. Um, I'm going to tear that off. This might be something that might be too big for the little booklet. I'm going to leave a bit of that because I love it. I watched uh, Carol Law's tour document style journal flick through. Um, I watch Mitzi at 307 Junk Journals and she's doing Medieval Mirage Monday, everyone. So I will link her in the description box. Oh, and I watched Three Bird Renovations. They are some Aussie girls. They're three friends and they have created the most amazing... Does anybody watch them? Any Aussies? Any Aussies watch them? My sister got me onto them. They are amazing and they, um, they renovate houses. And they are so talented. They, but I, um, but I think they started off by flipping houses, which I know is very popular um, with lots of people in the US as well. Uh, it doesn't work so well in Italy, um, flipping houses. It's just not a thing over here. But um, anyway, um, yes, they, they, I think they started off from the previous videos. They've got a YouTube channel. They're called Three Bird. Three Birds Renovations. I'll link them. Not that they need any help from me. They've got plenty of subscribers um, and a huge business. Um, and they are three friends and they and they now have cut client, a lot of clients. And they just started off showing um, you know, what they do. And they have a lovely style. And, and they have the Three Birds Renovation Design School. Um, and it really, it's really, well, I guess you could... It would be helpful. I guess it's helpful for anyone overseas. I think my sister could tell you more about it because she knows more about them. I think she bought the design school thing. They had a sale and she got it because it's not not a cheap course, but it's not it's not an exuberant course either. Um, and you know, it's very helpful to Aussies if you're you know if you're renovating. You know, my sister said to me. Because she wants to renovate, but she's not ready to do it yet because it's not a good time at the moment in Australia to renovate because there's shortage of things and the prices have gone up. And <coughs> actually, the prices keep fluctuating. And my dad was telling me that even the builders now at the moment, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what my dad told me. Some of them aren't even quoting. His his architect told him that, um, that he knows, his architect friend. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm choking. Um, so anyway, to, I watched them House of the Weedy Sea Dragon, a moody little cottage in Tasmania. Now, ladies, I want you to go and watch the video and tell me, does that make you feel like you'd like to go there and just sit in front of the fireplace in the middle of winter and stitch and eat? I'll tell you what Tasmania is really famous for is wonderful cheeses and, um, really amazing produce like as in food produce and so you could just drink lots of yummy nice wine and eat cheese and olives and and things like that and sit by the fireplace and stitch in the house of weedy sea dragon that's what it's called and they literally were the lady who owns it with her well it's actually her parents own it i think from what i understood and she and her sister fixed it up and they rent it out they use it but they also rent it out on airbnb and and she, literally they showed a photograph before and after and it was a shack absolute shack really horrible shack and they've done an amazing job and they did the um uh, three birds renovation um design school course and i think you know i haven't done it but you'd have to ask sarah because she's had a look at it it's very helpful to australians as i was saying because i can't find the scissors uh, because, did I even pull any scissors out? I did not. They were in the drawer. Um, it's very useful 
uh, to Australians because it tells you how to get contracted, you know, your contractors to do the work and all that sort of stuff. And they give, um, they have discounts like at, I don't know, at Beacon Lights and stuff like that if you join their school. Um, so, yeah, it's really, and my sister said to me, you know, you have an architect husband, so he and he knows exactly how to get the job done. And I can't tell you, I can't imagine how people get things done if they don't have a trusty person to follow the work, especially if you're doing major work. Um, really, I mean, you get taken for a ride if you don't have someone that you trust, is what I think. I folded that over, I'm I don't think I'll fold that over. Um, yeah, so anyway, that it's a really nice channel to watch because they sh I love I love home decoration. Um I lived in a very bodgy place before we did ours. Um it's quite minimal at the moment our place like we're going to add buy a rug for our TV room and stuff and some lamps, but we're just sort of um and some curtains and things and we'll probably get some decorative items, but I'm sort of just sort of taking it all in. And my mum always says to me, um even um when you um, mum's very good at, um, you should see mum's place. I mean, she rents, but mum can make anything beautiful. She, I mean, she has beautiful decor. We've shared some of her decor on little corners, pockets of her decor on her Instagram. But she, let's just start decorating them out. I've made all this stuff. Um, and then I wanted to just sort of gather some things up. Um, yeah, so mum always says to me, when, like, if you, you should always, they always say you should live in a place before you, um, sort of renovate or do anything like that because you get a really good feel like especially if you're going to knock down walls and stuff like that you really need to sort of have a feel I think for the place if it's livable some places aren't livable that's that can be said um, yeah just have a feel for it so then you really know like we lived in our place we exaggerated we lived in our podgy place for 10 years if not more actually we moved in when Lulu was about three and three quarters and we renovated now the first six months of this year six seven months of this year so um how long was that guys you do the maths i'm 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 crafting i can't do maths while i'm crafting that's just not happening which is probably why i'm opposed to measuring as well i'm putting a, a thing up here i'm not even thinking about it. i'm just doing it while i chat to you about random stuff but um anyway if you like watching home renovations um, well, no, they don't show you how they do it, um, but you can see these people that have done their course, what they've come up with, and this girl, they did a lovely job, really nice. So I'm going to punch a hole in there, it's not centred, I'm going to snip the corners. Um, anyway, I've lost track. I was trying to tell you, I thought I had watched Sarah, Cheryl Telefast today too, but I, I have her in my, I have a lot of people, I have a lot of you lovely ladies in my watch list, but I... Didn't even get to watch one single video yesterday, which is always disappointing. And I don't even get to watch one. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'll put a little birdie on that one. I think, yes. And I might put a, a little label or something. Um, so, yes. I, 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 I felt so bad that Catherine, she created by Catherine, she, I haven't gotten over that, that she shut down. Shut it all down. That made me really sad. I'm sorry, Catherine. Um, I hope you come back. I hope you have a break and come back. So, I know it's tough out there. I don't know what the formula is for. I don't know what it is, guys. I really don't know. If I knew, I'd share. I'll just do my thing and stay in my... I just stay... You've, you've really got to stay in your lane, honestly. If you're going to do this, you stay in your lane and just enjoy it. Just do it... Have fun and stay in your lane and don't look at other people. Like, watch the videos, yes, because you like watching the videos. But just don't worry about what's happening in the other channels as far as statistics and blah, blah, blah and all that sort of stuff. I don't worry about that stuff. I, I do sometimes, but I, I don't let myself. I stop myself because, you know, it's tough. It is tough. But, you know, as I said, my purpose is fun and I love sharing. Did you notice? <laughs> I love sharing and, you know, um, I probably could do more courses and things. And I might do that for, you know, some things that are, might, you know, that might are harder sort of things to do. Um, but they take, you know, I want to make sure that they are very high quality and you, I'm a bit of a wing it person. So 
I need to just sort of when things calm down for me a little bit, I keep thinking they're going to, but they don't. Um, I might think about doing that, but until then, we are all just sharing. Sharing is caring, as they say. And sharing is fun. I think it's really a lot of fun. I love it. Okay, so yeah, God, now I've, I've run out of I've run out of puff. Probably, I don't even know how long I've been here for, but I've run out of puff, if that's at all possible. I did like that there, but it's a little bit, bit small for that size, so let me see if I've got some. Ooh. Oh, they see, I'm glad I checked. I like it there, that's where it's going to go on that one. Now, these images came from, I can't remember if I fix them up a little bit but they came from the New York Public Library and they are from an Italian antique book and when you go on the New York Public Library you've got to put in um, public domain images because some of their image not everything in the public in the New York New York Public Library digital collection is in the public domain so you've got to be careful if you're selling if you're doing it for yourself no problem use whatever you want but if you're selling um, just make sure you, you're getting the things that are in, oh, I like that, that are in the public domain. And um, and so you have to click. When you search, you click. I don't know what, I think I just searched for flower illustrations or something. I haven't been on there for, gosh, I probably haven't been on there for a couple of years, actually. Um, because I've been, you know, perching my own things now and um, and using those a lot in my digital kits and things, things that I actually own, a little bit from the public domain, a little bit, you know, in the pages from the graphics fairy or that sort of thing. I'm probably totally off screen. I push myself off. Let's put those over there. And I do apologize. It's just because, do you know what happens? Um, is that you, you get busy doing stuff and having fun and I forget that I'm not on screen. I could, well, I possibly could not be on screen. That's what happens. Even though I know that I have to stay on screen, I get distracted. I'm going to put that. Oh, I love that. So simple. Um, so what were we talking about? We're talking about, yes, I got that image from the New York Public Library. And I said, when you search, there's a little thing that comes up and you click um, public domain. Um, and then you can get the public domain ones. Okay. Put that there. Oh, I'm loving making these. This is a really fun, well, it's fun for me. It could be hor horrendous for you guys, but I'm having a good time anyway. I'm not going to put that little French lady on there. I need something tall and narrow now. Where are my ladies? I had some ladies or something long and narrow. Do I not have something long and narrow? Maybe not. I use this stuff all the time. So it could be that I'm getting low. Here they are. I thought possibly... No, it's a bit plain for them, you see. If I had a busy, busier background, I could put one of those ladies, but no. So, what will I do here? I'll just go like that until I decide. Oh, you know what I do have? I have multiple of these left over. I could... No, I don't want to do that either. I could just put that one aside and decide afterwards. Okay, I've got this lovely piece here. And we've done florals, we've done that. Let's go in here again. I just want to see if I've got anything in here that I might like to use. I don't want it to cover up the background too much. I mean, it will cover it up a bit, of course. None of those. Oh, forgot about them. Oh, 
I'm sure I've got a folder up there that has all kinds of things that I could be going through. All kinds. Okay, that's too big. Too blendy. Nope. Nothing in there. Oh, let me just see here. Where have they gone? Oh, there. There were some smaller images, but I think they might be too big. No, too big. Not those. Okay, oh, in here, I think I caught it. I keep them, look, they've got names on them. That's how they're organised now. And these are, this is not actually just digital ephemera. It's um, it's a whole lot of stuff that I need to sort out. The only thing about these silly containers is these things come off all the time, but they are easy to fix most of the time. So they're butterflies. You see, this is all stuff I still need to sort out. I just threw it all in there. We could go through a little bit and see all the labels. They all need to be sorted. I'm not using them. They're no good. There's a beautiful envelope that Steph created for me. I've got my, oh, I've got some Italian Renaissance ladies. I've got things on tracing paper. I've got these things that aren't anywhere. Lots of florals. It's all stuff that it needs some sorting. Oh, some wallpaper, real wallpaper. Oh, here's like these little images could go in the containers. Let's have a look here. They're all a bit pale, I think. I love that. Oh, that could be a possibility. Like that one. I'll keep that one out though. They're in my manuscript kit. Oh. An owl, we might like an owl. See, I told you I need to sort this folder out. There's some ephemera in there. There's all kinds of stuff. Love those. Oh, love that little gentleman there. Oh, look at all these. Forgot about these. Cool. They shouldn't be there. Envelopes, ladies. Victorian things to organise, Italian things, oh, doily, all kinds of stuff going on in there, just a minute, we can't go through all of it, there's a lot, and when I see it, it makes me want to use it, and then it just stays in there, and then I don't use it, I do really like this one. I need to have another painting session. Does anyone want to do another painting session? I only do. It's I, there is one asking you because I will do the same things. I always do the same things. There could be a slight variation somehow, but um, I quite like that. It kind of blends in. And I was thinking maybe I could add that. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I need a bigger one. Or that one. Let's just tear this gentleman out. So yeah, so if anyone wants to have another, you know, random painting sort of session, we can do that. I need to do this. I that you know I did that. Then I didn't do any more. So I do really like that. I actually like that on there. I know it covers a lot of that up. What else do I have flying around here? Leftover to embellish. I think that's it. Okay, so that could go on there. Could go, oh, I love it on there too, but it does cover up that lovely page, doesn't it? Oh, I like it there. That was it. Does, does it matter? I'm going to put it on there. I like it there. That's where it's going. I'm covering up the writing space. It's 
some things can just be pretty, you know. So my next video, I think this is taking me a long time, will gather the things up, put them together, start putting them in these, these, this little booklet. And um, maybe tonight I'll get some stitching done, I don't know. Things keep happening, like, you know, um, Lulu's friend, who, the nice people that we went on our trip with, they came over the other day. And um, and then, oh, now I'll leave that because you could put a little photograph or something there. I like that. Um, they just, you know, they ended up coming over and then we went over to their house. And, and so um, I didn't do anything. I didn't get the things done that I needed to get done. Oh, here's a big one. Oh, I like that. Let's do this one. I think the other one's too small. my little painted bit yeah I like that more because it's the right size the other one was too small I'm really not sure what I want to stick on that long one I'll have to find something I think I won't do anything with it right now I need to find something I'd like to finish up that little mini flippy sort of one. So that's that. Could decide to put something there, but I can do that afterwards and punch a hole, but isn't that lovely? Okay, um, so this one I'm not sure. I need to find something that I might like to put on there. So I quite like that, but then I'm, I am covering all that right of that writing. But I don't think it really matters. I could tear a little bit more of this manuscripty sort of thing off. Maybe that bit. So you could see a bit more of the writing. I do quite like that there. Yes, okay. Well, I said I wasn't going to decorate it, but I am. Because something popped into my mind. Now, I won't reveal what my mum's done with her snowman. She didn't know what she wanted to do yesterday. And then she, she I spoke to her today and um, it just came to her. And it's really cool. So I keep telling her off because she she needs to share. Um, I said to her, please, I keep asking her because we need to share her things on her Instagram. And it hasn't been done. So... Um, Sarah's a bit too busy at the moment for that. So I said to mum, can you please send them to me? Because I can put them on her Instagram for her. Um, oh, I like that. Because Sass and I both logged into her. We've, we've got her Instagram on our Instagram account each. So we can do that for mum. Because I don't think mum, mum doesn't do that sort of stuff. So we do it for her. Um, so I've asked her to send me the photographs. And she just doesn't. So I'm just, I'm harassing her. <laughs> Help me harass her. No, don't harass her. Then she'll go, she'll go into a spin. Let me, I'll, I'll harass her. You guys don't need to do that. Okay, so there's, there we go. Did it. I like that. I love the, are these colours really, I love those. Now let's just do this one and then I'll let you go. So that's a flippy. So I need little things. Um, not those big things. I would love that on there. But it covers it all up. I don't want to cover it all up. I could tear it down. I do love that on there. I'm going to tear a bit more off. I don't think it matters. Okay. Yes, that's going to go on there. that on there and on that side
Um, just looking for something small. Something like that, I think. I need to print those labels out again. I think I'll put that one on there. Because they're kind of decorative, but you could write on them if you wanted to, but they're also decorative. Okay, cool. So random bits of paper. Now, my thought is, and we'll, but we'll do it in the next video, um, is like this one, for example, flips. So it can just flip over a page and it can, like I can really crease it. It can just hang out there or I can clip it. Now, isn't that lovely? And then some of these, I'm just going to like just clip on the edge. I'll just go through. And then I thought some, this one needs a bigger page. Um, some I will uh, I will sort of combine in little groupings like that will fit there. Actually, that's quite nice there. So I'll leave that slit in there or it could go on that side. But I think I like something else there. So you could even hinge them and then have them on either side. But then on this one, let me see. That one's a bit wide. I could trim that one down, but um, I'm going to put something on the reverse side. Oh, I love that. That sort of thing. So we're going to have fun go through and do that. Um, yep. Yeah. Yep. So that's it. That's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very random, very messy. I'm in a mess now. Um, I don't, you know, I don't think you're having fun if you don't make a mess. <laughs> Um, I think it's, you know, it, a mess to me is in, it's like, you know, in some cultures they say if you make a mess on the table, you enjoyed your meal on the tablecloth. Um, so, yeah, if you don't have a mess, make a mess, I think you, you've, you've limited your fun to being tidy, trying to tidy up all the time. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to pull these out and photograph them for you. And, um, and then we'll revisit this idea. I'll probably change things um, when when we can't do the next video. So thank you so much for watching and especially listening and being patient. And, um, and have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, Saturday. Bye.